All right, we are heading into the second map between Sase and Ciara. We are on Tarina stand. And um, the Night Elf player spawning in the top left spawn position. Uh, Sase is currently down 1 or 0 to 1. And uh, he's going to have to win here. And he is going for Tavern Hero build order with um, an early Angel of War. So a couple of archers early on together with... Uh, yeah, most likely a Beastmaster like against the uh, Orc. I don't really think there's there are too many other options in uh, the tavern here as a first hero. And yes, Ciara with um, the expected Alter Burrow Barracks to uh, start this game off. And we'll see how he's going to be able to, or how well he's going to be able to react to uh, the opening Sase is throwing at him here. Ultra is coming right now. I'm guessing second Moongol is going to be built here eventually. So um, just shielding his uh, Wisps from uh, the Blade Master. This time he's got a completely different base build, obviously, compared to the Huntress build on the previous map where he basically walled off in front which was kind of a more ended up being kind of a more modern base build whereas this one the old-fashioned uh, moonwell and altar wall in front of the forest as i said just to shield these wisps blade master is coming first archer is out wisp heading towards the tavern second archer being built as well so um yeah regular Archer and um, Tavern Hero built by the Night Elf. And for Ciara, once again, doesn't skip the second burrow, doesn't skip the shop. Just going for the uh, also regular, um, regularly timed tech. And yeah, it is the Beastmaster first by Sase, um, as expected after seeing the opening at least. And the third Archer is spawning, and he's going to be able to start. Creeping. Blade Master got the Gauntlet of August Strength from the Apprentice Wizard here, and he's going to get Gloves of Haste from the Renegade Wizard. Well, so far, so good. Hunter's Hall being added by Sase as well, so he's going to transition into hunts pretty quickly here. The one uh, Wisp is just chilling, and the second Angel of War, so we're gonna see. Yeah, Sase relying on a lot of tier 1 units, on a lot of hunts, and most likely not gonna wanna tag anytime soon. And Ciara, well, has started his tag, and has he scouted this even so far? He has not, he didn't scout at all. The Grunt is now heading towards the top, the Blade Master and the second Grunt are following, and it looks like he's going to start applying some pressure right now. He sees the Hawk, so now he knows at least about his opponent's first hero, not yet about his strategy. Sees the three archers, dust has been purchased already and the blade master is coming in from the right hand side and he's going to try and steal the creep here. Where did the hawk go? Is the question... Yeah, the hawk is here seeing the blade master. And it looks like the archers are probably going to be targeted first. Shadow melt used immediately, blade master doesn't have dust so uh, these archers are safe for the moment. Blade Master is chasing the Beastmaster, who doesn't have boots yet, so uh, Blade Master stole those, which makes things a little bit annoying for the Beastmaster. He's turning around here, a little bit afraid of a Grunt block, apparently, but I think he should just basically squeeze around them and get back to his own base. The Grunt's trying to do a block right now, but yeah, the Beastmaster is uh, getting to his own base. The archers again hiding. Super quickly here, Blade Master still doesn't, doesn't have dust, and the Beastmaster is arriving at the Moonverse here. The second hunt is right now out, and this seems like a pretty um, easy position to defend at the moment for um, Sase. Blade Master is going to the shop, dust bought finally. Units are being pulled back into the own base of Sase, and still no tier 2 tech, so we're only going to, to see hunts for a pretty long time here. No Tree of Life set up in the meantime. So he's at least for the time being not going into any kind of yeah expansion and hit and run. 
style, but yeah, we'll find out about it eventually, what the plan is here too. Finished Our for Ciara. Who's using dust right now, going for the one archer here, that one should definitely fall. These archers have not been revealed by the dust, and the blade master still has three um, charges of the heal stuff, so he's using the first one right now, and there's nothing that Sase currently can do about it. Oops, still tier one for him. More hunts are coming upgrade wise, zero zero still for him. But at some point, he's gonna have to make something happen. Shadow Hunter and Lodge and Beast Tree coming for Ciara this time. So he's just playing a standard, well rounded tier 2 army against this um, mass hunt style by uh, Sase, which is fair enough. And which should in uh, the long run be definitely the superior unit composition compared to the uh, hunts of his opponent. Once of Illusion found by Sase, he's at 42 supply at the moment, 34 for uh, Ciara, T2 being soon to finish, Shadow Hunter soon to spawn, Fate Master 2.5, second uh, Gauntlets of Ogre Strength, and now he is heading towards the middle. Is he going to get aggressive? Is he going to continue creeping? He's continuing to creep. So a super passive approach given that he's investing into mass early aggression or uh, harassment units basically and he's bringing a couple of wisps the shadow hunter sees it right now he still is tier one and is this just going to be an age protector push it looks like that might be it that might be the answer here to the question what sasa is going to try and go for here he's blocking the shadow hunter a little bit who skilled serpent wards first so he immediately is aware of the pressure that is arising. Blade Master needs to be careful. He does have mana. He's gonna have mana for one Windwalk soon. But Ciara is not yet ready for the late game here. Basically, he's got the one Raider out. He's He doesn't even have the first Walker in production. Is he getting... He's getting a War Mill right now. I just wanna see if he's getting a quick Gata right now as the War Mill finishes. He's getting a Demolisher immediately. He decides not to spend his gold in uh, the Spirit Lodge. Not having that one produced at the moment. The Blade Master, the Grunts, very far away from the rest of the Orc army. Shadowhunter already taking a huge load of damage. Has to fall back here immediately. The Demolisher halfway out only. Blade Master is trying to go for the Wisp here, as it seems, but that one is walled off pretty nicely. Wisp is pulling back. The Grunts are trying to get the kill and do so. Two Edge Protectors are, are being built. Both of them have to be cancelled. The Blade Master has taken a lot of damage already as well, and he has to fall back too. And the numbers are <laughs> so much in favor of um, Sase at the moment. The first Demolish is out though, and he's going to be able to help a great deal in defending here. The Beastmaster and the Hunts are charging forward. The Wands of Illusion have been used. The Beastmaster on the front here is the real one, ironically. The other one's not really doing all too much, except blocking him. But the Burrows are attacked here, and... Um, yeah, those Beastmaster Illusions are actually doing a pretty good job shielding off the Burrows from the Repair Peons and therefore the second one of them has already fallen a Supply Block on the side of Ciara and he really has nothing to deal with this at the moment and still a huge lot of hunts available on the side of uh, the Night Death player. The one of the Illusions has been taken down, now the next Illusion is being taken down but the real Beastmaster is still Standing strong, the Shadow Hunter and Blade Master are both low on HP. No items on those as well, and no man on the Blade Master to Windwalk towards the shop here. Only a Kodo, the one uh, Burrow, and the heroes basically around anymore to uh, deal with Sase here. But Sase is getting his Beastmaster trapped by the Serpent Wards, and he's probably going to be forced to Town Portal. The Hunts on the other side are able to take down the Blade Master, and now the Beastmaster can TP, but not before taking down the Shadow Hunter as well. And Ciara has lost everything. Sase had to TP. He's lost a lot of hunts as well. That's a hunt, a hunt, a hunt. Another one, another one. But, you know, killing everything in return is <laughs> quite good as well. Leaving one of the gauntlets here. But still, he has to finish him right now. One Ancient Protector has been finished somewhere in the back as well. The Archer gets taken down. The Ancient Protector is up, uh, is rooting. But yeah, he has to finish him right now. Zapper is being bought by Sase. If Ciara can stay alive, he still is on tier 2. He still is superior attack if he can somehow stay alive. But the Zapper 
has probably his own opinion on whether or not <laughs> on whether or not Ciara can stay alive. Double kill on the grunts with the zapper, finishing it in style here. Sase tying the series 1-1. One, one. This time he was the one able to force his opponent to play his game. Something I mentioned during the first map as well. It was Sase who went for his own style, who forced uh, Ciara to react and he wasn't able to react properly. He wasn't able to react in time. He realized too late what was happening. Uh, didn't have the warm ready yet. His uh, When he reached tier 2 as well, he seemed a little bit slow on getting his Shadow Hunter and his tier 2 buildings. So that definitely didn't help him as well. Tried to go for the Serpent Wards, but uh, yeah, he was simply not able to stop this huge tier 1 all in by Sase. Therefore, he's taking the second map and we're gonna have a decider on uh, Echo Isles.